Okay, so welcome back. So this is, uh, my name is Tim, Mr. Basa Glory. So let's move straight to the next book called Femur. This is Femur. Now, so when I say Femur, Femur, of course, is a long bone of the thigh. Remember the rules of describing a long bone, that first, you must hold it superior and then inferior, superior and then inferior. After holding it superior and then inferior, the next thing is to hold it anterior and then posterior. This is the anterior part of it. This is the posterior part of it. So after establishing superior, inferior, anterior, posterior, let's start describing. So you're going to hold the bone like this facing your examiner. So you start by saying the femur is a long bone of the thigh. It's a long bone of the thigh. Now being a long bone of the thigh, it has two extremities and then a shaft. It has two extremities and then a shaft. And we said that superiorly, you start from the top, superiorly is a ball-like head. This ball-like head articulates with the acetabulum of the nominate bone to form the hip joint. It articulates with the acetabulum of the nominate bone to form the hip joint. Now below the head, we have the neck. Now below the neck, we have two projections called greater and lesser trochanter greater and lesser trochanter now between the greater and lesser trochanter we have remember this is anterior surface this is posterior surface now at the anterior surface between the greater and lesser trochanter you have what we call the intertrochanteric crest i repeat myself at the anterior surface between the greater and lesser trochanter you have what we call the intertrochanteric crest but if it's at the posterior surface, between the greater and lesser trochanter, you have the intertrochanteric line. Meaning, line is at the posterior, crest is at the anterior. So what have I said? Superiorly is a ball-like head. Below the head, we have the neck. Below the neck, we have greater and lesser trochanter. And I said, remember you are describing anterior facing the examiner. Now, if you look to the head, if you're to the head, if you're to the head, we have the shaft. If you're to the head, we have the shaft. Now, below the shaft, below the shaft, the bone becomes broadened. The bone becomes broadened to form the lateral and the media condyle. The lateral and the media condyle. It is this lateral and media condyle that articulates with the head of the tibia rather to form the knee joint. What have I said in summary? This is the femur. The femur is a long bone of the thigh, having two extremities and a shaft. Superiorly is a ball-like head. Below the head is the neck. Below the neck, we have greater and lesser trochanter. Between greater and lesser trochanter, we have the intertrochanteric crest. Remember, it is crest. Below the head, we now have the shaft. Below the shaft, the bone becomes broadened to give rise to lateral and media condyle. It is lateral and media condyle that articulates with the head of the tibia to form the knee joint. You are holding it anterior, posterior. What if the examiner asks you to describe the posterior sur surface, which it is rare? However, just for emphasis sake, that when you hold it, if this is the posterior surface, we know that the posterior surface Below superior is the head. Below the head, we have the neck. Below the neck, we have greater and lesser trochanter. Between greater and lesser trochanter, we have the intertrochanteric line. Remember, the front is crest. This one is line. So below that, below that, we now have the shaft. Now, of course, below the shaft, we have the linear aspirate, which is the sharp edge. We have the linear aspira. And as the bow becomes broadened, below the shaft, the bow becomes broadened to give rise to the lateral and media condyle. Between the lateral and media condyle, you have this depression here called popliteal surface. Popliteal surface. Mind you, everything we are describing is posterior. But if we're to be in an exam form where you are describing face the examiner, you hold it anterior, posterior superior inferior so that is the femur you can pause it replay as you wash it again thank you